Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial for you guys um, on how to install Life in the Woods. There have been many people asking me on how to install it and have been having problems, so I'm going to be teaching you today how to install Life in the Woods. Woods, 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 woods. Okay, but seriously, um, first thing, what you need is you need Minecraft. And if you don't have Minecraft, then you can't play the game. I guess you could crack it, but please buy it, guys. Come on. It's like, it's like 30 bucks for US dollars, come on, just do it, just do it, it's a great game. Okay, but anyway, here's what you do. First, you go to Fedrin's website, Fedrin is the mod uh, pack creator, and it's just fedrin.com. Now, you guys don't have to worry about this because I will link everything in the description. Every single URL that I go to will be in the description. So, if you guys need to go to it, then do it. And I will close this because I did that earlier. <laughs> um, First, you go to Life in the Woods, obviously, because that's what you want to do, and there are two versions. There is the basic version, which is just like the basic Life in the Woods with all the mod packy stuff, and there's the Hungry version, which I play on because I, I really like it. It's pretty much, um, it has like a lot of hunger things to it, it's like survival, like you have to worry about gathering food a whole lot, and if you starve to death, you die forever. Well, actually not forever, but if you play in a hardcore mode, it's forever, and it's fantastic, so I recommend it. But if you want to just relax and have a good old experience, then I guess just get basic. But uh, we're going to download Hungry, and it takes you to Mediafire. Now, if you guys have Adblock, then you don't really have to worry about this, but uh, for those of you that have a lot of pop-ups and stuff, the one link that you need to click on is this one right here, this download button. It's the green. It says 10.73 megabytes. And uh, there might be pop-ups that say, download here, download here, download here, download here. But this is the one, this is the real one. Those ones are stupid scammy scams. These are the real ones. You click that one, the green one. Click it up. And it downloads, and I get the pop-up. Woo! Okay. And now we play the waiting game. And for those of you who do not have a program that can open zip files, uh, Windows should actually allow you to open up zip files automatically with its own zip program. But if you guys do want a nice program, I recommend, uh, wait, what, what program do I use? Let's click it real quick. I think I use WinZip. No, I use WinRAR, so download WinRAR. It's, uh, it's free, temporarily, and you can purchase it. Uh, but the free version is really great, and, yeah, there's not really much to it. But, uh, this is all you need. You need all of this, and you will see this within your, uh, WinRAR, within your zip file. And, yeah, so just put that to the side. We shall get to that later. But first, we need a program called Minecraft Forge. Now, this will also be linked in the description, but this is what reads the, uh, the modded files and imports them into Minecraft and allows you to play them. And without this, you cannot play the mods. So here's what we're gonna do. Go to Minecraft Forge, which will be in the description. Uh, I think, I think it's 1.6.4 is what the mod pack is for. So the latest one is what you need. Uh, actually, the recommended and the latest one is the same one. Uh, generally, you'd go for the recommended, but since they're the same one, it doesn't really matter. So just click the installer, or you can just use the, uh, or you can use the other ones. But I prefer the installer because it installs it right away, and it's really simple, dandy. It's dandy, stampy, stampy, and easy. I don't know, man. Don't listen to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so once it's downloading, come on, AdFly, don't do me wrong. Yes. Okay. It'll say. Lol, 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 this program could hurt your computer and give it viruses and such things like hepatitis. But you just press keep anyway, and it downloads. Then it'll be in your downloads folder as well, and you just double click it just like you would any kind of program. And I'll show you the UI, or the GUI. Uh, okay, here it is. You can install client and install server version. Uh, install the client version because that is one that you're going to be playing on, unless you want to host a server. Uh, but if you know how to host a server, I guess this tutorial isn't quite for you. So, install clients and it'll install it. So I've already done so, so I don't need to worry about it. Uh, I'm gonna press cancel. If you press install, it'll install it, and you'll be good to go. So, we'll close this. Close this. We do not need Internet Explorer anymore. So we're gonna close that. Now we're gonna go into our Windows Explorer. We're going to go to my computer, and we are going to go to percent app data percent. This will take you to the uh, the roaming directory, and then you click on Minecraft. In Minecraft, there'll be, uh, there might not be a mods folder, uh, but what you need to do is to create one. It's just mods. Like, it can be uppercase, lowercase, it'll still read it. And you just put your mods into there, which is uh, in here. So what you do is you can either do Control A, drag it all in there, or you can just select it all, I guess. But, I mean, who does that anymore? 
But you can just press Control A and then select it all and drag it into there, and you'll be good. And uh, also, don't worry about this uh, 1.6.4 folder. That'll be installed whenever you load up the mod first time in Forge. So that's what you do second. And uh, if it doesn't load right, um, actually, I'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, there'll be some troubleshooting things I'll teach you guys. But uh, let's load up Minecraft. Here we go. Load it up. And. 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 <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, there'll be a profile called Forge, uh, which is automatically installed whenever you use the Java or the JAR installer. And you just click Forge, and you are good to go. It'll automatically do it up. And. Oh, yeah, by the way, I want to mention this. Before you install Minecraft Forge, if it doesn't work, what you need to do is you need to. Uh, go to version, go to 1.6.4, the actual 1.6.4, and install that first. Like, click it and save it and then play it. It'll install that jar. You need that jar before you install the forge, because what it does is it reads that jar and puts its mods into that jar. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. But, yeah, if you have any trouble, I will. I'll, I guess I'll get to you in the comments if you need help. But, yeah, pretty much that, that's, that's all you need to do. And you press play, and it should install all the mods and allow you to play it. It might take a little bit longer depending on your PC. It does take me a tad bit longer to load the uh, all these mods than it would generally to play normal vanilla Minecraft, but um, it shouldn't take too long. Load it up, buddy boy. Okay, here we are. We're in the Minecraft, and we are in Forge. It tells you right here. Uh, the Forge something launcher, Forge mod loader, there we go, that's it, I think that's what it's called. And the Minecraft Forge, it says 44 mods loaded, which is perfect, that means it's working. You can see all the mods over here, in the mods category. And, yeah, so we have got it perfectly installed. Now, hopefully you guys get it perfectly installed as well. Now, I want to go over a few troubleshooting things real quick, so let's go and get these over with. If it crashes as soon as the, uh, the Minecraft thing shows up, or it gives you a crash log, uh, the best way to do uh, the best way to counter this uh, which I found was the best way is to uh, Control a in the minecraft folder the things that you need are uh, Or the things that you might need is a save so deselect save by holding control uh, You can press control and then click it'll deselect things so hold control click um, if this is if you're on a Mac Then I am I am apologetic. I do not know. <laughs> I do not know the 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 crazy max, but anyway, I uh, used uh, press control and then get these. Um, I think the saves and the screenshots are the ones that you need the most, unless you want to save your versions. I guess you can do that as well, and then just press delete. Uh, it'll get rid of all of them, and you'll be left with nothing except for those folders that you try to save. Which uh, obviously you want to save your saves because that is all your worlds, and you want to save save your screenshots because it's got beautiful things that you've gathered throughout your Minecraft experience. So, um, you'll need to save those, uh, of course. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but I'd want to. And after you delete everything except for these two folders, uh, you just load up the Minecraft EXE one more, uh, one more time, and it'll install everything clean. And it'll pretty much remove any unnecessary things, and it'll pretty much allow you to uh, play Minecraft. <laughs> or play, play the Forge, uh, because Forge kind of conflicts with some mods and if you've played on mod packs before um, it'll conflict with some of the little files and stuff so that's the best way to counteract any kind of crashing now if there's other crashing issues then it's either you don't have the the spec specifications but it'll play it um, or it just might be something else that I have not figured out but that is I've encountered that crashing problem so I'm gonna go ahead and forewarn you guys and teach you guys how to counteract it now if it's still crashing then I guess I can try to figure out what is going on and generally you can try to figure out um, sometimes there are conflicting mods that will sort of uh, not allow you to play now th there's this one uh, other counter action you can do is you if you down if you download the forge you put them in the mods you can remove uh, I think it's uh, I think it's underground caves um, if I can find that um, underground caves dang it now I've got to play the, the find game. Oh yeah, Better Signs is one of them. And... No, it's Underground Biomes, I believe. Underground Biomes. Yeah, there it is. Now if you delete these two, 
ish, uh, it'll kind of fix an error because sometimes uh, these mods kind of conflict with other mods. And I have not encountered this issue, but other people have, and they said it works perfect. So if you have a crashing issue, then delete the uh, the Better Signs mod and the Underground Biomes mod, and it should allow you to play. And that should pretty much cover all the troubleshooting. So yeah. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this mod tutorial has helped you out. This is my first one ever, so if I did a great job, then give me a thumbs up and tell me I'm awesome. No, but uh, if you have any issues, then leave them in, su in the suggestion box below. And if you had a problem with this video, then also leave them in the suggestion box below, and I will get to them later. So I have been TorK13. This has been a tutorial on how to install Fedrin's Life in the Woods mod, 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 mod. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.